Hello. So one more thing um, from the trip, um, which was quite a headache, was actually the cables. So the clutch cable, um, the throttle cables and all that. Three clutch cables um, done. Apart from that, the clutch cables are actually okay. There are no problems with them. The problem is but these clutch cables and the throttle cables are really expensive. You're looking at about um, 60 pounds for all three of them. So because I'm snapping them so often, I thought I'm going to be smart and save some money. So what I bought is the emergency repair kit from these guys. What you get is basically a bunch of the ends. Uh, all the different sizes and all that. And then you get one clutch cable and you get one throttle cable. Uh, basically a thicker one and a smaller one. Now these already have the uh, one end and you need to put these onto the other end. Now they call them emergency cable kit. And I guess the emergency is because they have a little nut which is not very visible from here. Um, and you put the cable in and you put the Allen key and you kind of screw it. Now, I actually think that I can make them permanent, not emergency ones. Let's cut this one. So the length which seems to be working quite well is 101 centimeter 0.5. Now the idea is Wow. One end. So that's the top and from the back it's like this. This needs to be uh, grinded off because it, otherwise it wouldn't fit. So that bit needs to be grinded off. And then in here, um, the solder just went out. So I have to probably clean this up. That's my new clutch cable. That worked really well. Um, there is a good clutch action. <laughs> so I'm going to repair the throttle cable with a tiny little um, end. Uh, like this and the throttle cables have these uh, little ends on them on the both sides and uh, in this slinky whatever thingy uh, set there is uh, not a big enough one um, so I decided to make the endings using a little piece of wood and uh, a little mold <laughs> That needs to cool down. So I just made a six millimeter hole, seven millimeters deep, and I'm using it as a mold for uh, solder. And that's it. That is pretty cool for no money. So the first one I made was a bit too big, so I had to grinded it around but this one seems to be actually really nice now the question really is if these cables last that much if the solder is strong enough to hold onto the pull for example on the clutch i mean on a other cables is going to be okay there's not a lot of uh, force but the clutch one mm, maybe a bit of a problem well, anyway, with the clutch, I have a second cable. So I have two clutch cables and I always route two clutch cables uh, on a bike. So then when one snaps, I just change it at the bottom, change it at the lever and off you go. So yeah, about five quid repair for 60 quid cables. I think that's quite good.